whole persona. I'm Pizza Man. This is amazing. Coil calls out Pokemon and Hassan for all those Streamlabs tweets. Streamlabs reached out to us back in February asking a lot of prodding questions about join combo, automated tick slash reels poster, only to launch a copy of our product a few months later. Listen, guys, honestly, I cannot, I cannot understand anybody that is still using Streamlabs. Like Hassan and uh, Pokey and shit that are like, oh, if they don't rectify this, I'm gonna fucking, you know, leave or some shit. Bro, why would you stay after that? How do you think they got to rectify that? They change all their things around, you know, f fix everything. It's still the same people. Why, why would you? I don't understand how they're even questioning it. It has to be, it ha that they have to be getting paid or some shit. There's no way. There's no way they're staying on that platform. Uh, stream, stream Elements is just better. It's, it's better all around, dude. Some of the Streamlabs default alerts are stolen without credit or permission. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, it just keeps getting worse. I think that most people would care a lot less about this if Streamlabs OBS wasn't some of the most dog shit software I've ever seen in my life. It is laggy. It is it is slow in general, not just like you get random lag spikes. It bugs out all the time. It crashes. It's horrible. It is so unbelievably bad. I, I used Streamlabs OBS for a few months at one point. Because I was like, oh, I like that it has like cloud, you know, syncing, whatever this and that. But dude, it is so bad. It's it's genuinely terrible. Now, I, I think people would still care about like, oh, you know, they steal this, they've been doing that, or like they're sneaky about this or whatever. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, a lot of times it just comes down to if the product is good or not, whether or not people will still want to use it. And the fact of the matter is that it's just not... Streamlabs OBS is terrible. Now, I will say this. There are certain things, like some of their widgets, still are good. Like one thing with Stream Elements. Stream Elements, I think, is a little bit more... <sighs> Stream Elements is a little bit harder to use in some ways. But you can do a lot more with it. But then there's also, like, Stream Elements doesn't have an iPhone app. For some reason. At, like, they still don't have an iPhone app. And they just, like, won't make one. I would say Stream Elements is better overall, but it's not like universally, like everything is better. But yeah. Kevin Pereira of G4 doubles down on NFT shilling being part of their show. Ari NFT, two points of failure tonight. Presentation aimed to cover popular interest tonight as those muddled for a myriad of reasons. Uh, fear of complexity, sentiment, tone, solid criticism on fixed wolves. Bailing, cover that in post chat. There's going to be a segment going forward on the show, not in the current form, but I absolutely plan to showcase NFT projects big and small. Discuss crypto blockchain, though likely as a loop in depth discussion. Uh, I'm not about to let people yuck this particular yum, though the presentation will certainly be altered. So how was this, chat? Apparently they were talking about NFTs at some point, and then I guess people got mad. Uh, tag of the show starts stealing for NFTs, chat immediately turns on them. Which is a project that you tie an NFT to a Discord account, and then if you're a positive influence in a community, it actually inflates the value of your NFT. So heaven forbid we have avatars and communities <laughs> that encourage people to be kind and supportive to increase the value of something. But apparently, that's the thing that gets me canceled today, is caring about a new technology and community. Well, you're all welcome. That's my time on this one. Yeah, it's okay to hate. I'm gonna sleep fine tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I really will. Now, uh, at the end of our stream in the cooldown, uh, I'm probably not going to talk about NFTs anymore because someone's going to come out with a cattle prod. <laughs> Heaven forbid that happened. <laughs> <laughs> we did something with G4 over the summer, uh, and I, I, I like the G4 crew. Back in the day, I mean, G4, this was on TV. But doing a show like this with chat now, it, it kind of changes the vibes. Like it kind of changes it changes how the because it's a different medium, it's a different platform. So I think they're doing the full show on Twitch and then they're editing it together and they're putting it on TV. So I think this is going to be really, really like an, a, a very interesting thing. My young breaks the record for most subscribed female. Oh, well, started off like, the did you get hosted? What happened? And so people were like waiting to see the record. I was like, oh my God, we're breaking it right now. It's just happening right now. Oh my God, we're just, just going to break it now. Right. We're just going to break it now. Well, if you give Holy subs crap. right now, you'll be part of it. You'll be part of it. You'll be part of the record. I, 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 
What did she? What does she do? Started well, like, where did she come from? <laughs> Literally, who? <laughs> like, what? Like, what is? Like, what? What section is she from? Yeah, like, I'm looking for a lore master here. Valorant Among Us. Destiny thanks Riot for gifting 250 subs. She did Minecraft on Abe's server, which League is her most major exposed outside of her bubble. Wow, as thank okay. you, my dude. Is that the, that's not like an official League of Legends account, is it? Ask who are you, why is she Gary? That's not what I was asking. I was asking where, like, I was looking for a lore master. The League live stream brought together by different streamers. There's no way this is an official account. It's legit? Oh, well, thanks. Fix your dog shit fucking client that makes it so that people can spam you with fucking friend oh requests God. in between games. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> Pizza Man. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> this is this guy's whole his whole persona. I'm Pizza Man. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Freaking Joe <Jewel> Wilt. <laughs> <laughs> do wielding, do wielding pizzas. <laughs> what? That's so good. Oh my god. <coughs> this is so good, dude. Charlie, give him a gold X before he started. Yeah, cause dude, like, he's Pizza Man. Like, how could you not? <laughs> I just watched Let's Go Football. You guys dog on shades. You're being way too hard, dude. I think some people. I can't hear. Some some people, they are like fun to mess with. Or they're more fun to mess with because because of how they react. Like I had a guy I used to work with that we would always prank. We just constantly prank him. It's it's the like it's the Dwight Schrute effect. Like Jim doesn't mess with Dwight all the time because he hates him. He messes with Dwight all the time because the way he reacts is so funny. It's like, how could you not? Ming is a good example of another person who's fun to mess with. Milena is a good example of somebody who's fun to mess with. Actually, I would say most of our friend group is pretty fun to mess with. Oh, oh, I love messing with Hassan. I, I absolutely love messing with Hassan. Hassan is a very good example of somebody who's fun to mess with. I don't know why. There's something about Hassan that makes it so fun to troll. With Hassan, like you can bait him or stunlock him into a, into like a political conversation. It's so funny.